It's Friday the 15th of July. Welcome to Swymo News. Here are the highlights of the week. Miss Rogers and Miss Overton's classes have been writing letters to and from the rainbow fish. Dear rainbow fish, <coughs> thank you for your beautiful and pretty scales. They have also been sharing numbers. In ad addition, they have been preparing bunting for the teddy bear picnic which will take place later on today. In year one two, Miss Stanley's children have been learning about 3D shapes in their maths lessons. And Mrs Jackson's children have been reading Tiddler the Storytelling Fish. Following this, they enjoyed writing excuses for being late for school. On, on Wednesday, I was late to school because on the way I got stuck in some twisty, sticky green seaweeds until my friend helped me escape. On Saturday, I was late for school because a wicked witch cast a spell on me and turned me into a rabbit. In year three, four, Mr Cunningham's class have been learning about the geometric properties of shapes. And yesterday, Miss Rutherford's class performed a piece of music on their string instruments. In year five, six children enjoyed carrying out an experiment where they investigated friction. We had a car and a ramp. We had different surfaces at the end of the ramp. We measured how far the car travelled along the surface. We found out that the school floor had the least friction so the car travelled the furthest on the surface. And while some children went on their residential trip to Kingswood, others enjoyed watching the film Tom's Midnight Garden. They have been studying this novel during their guided reading sessions this time. The story is about a boy called Tom who travels back in time to, and finds this secret garden. And he meets a girl called Hattie who is 12 and she, and she lived 70 years ago. And finally, children throughout the school have been extremely busy finishing their portraits of the Queen. These fantastic portraits will be displayed in the hall for everyone to admire. Thank, Thank you for watching Swanmore News.